this morning. All right, let's get you the very latest info. This is our big story of the day, and it's just unbelievable. If you've ever driven on one of those big freeway overpasses high above the main line of the freeway and look down below, you just could hardly imagine what it must have been like. We don't know whether this was uh, one family or exactly how everyone was connected, but there were three people, three uh, women, one young lady, and two, one woman in her 20s, another in her 40s, involved in this deadly crash on the I-10 overpass at about 99th Avenue. And now we know that a child is among one of those uh, individuals that has died, a car actually falling off that overpass. Anita Roman uh, was live there on the scene this morning. What have you learned since? Yeah, that's pretty much what we know this morning. Three people involved in this accident. Sergeant Melky joining us live. Uh, the la latest update that we received from you was that the little girl passed away. Yeah, that's correct. Um, uh, since we last talked, we learned that uh, it's most likely her children that were involved. Um, one being about seven years old, the other one being 10, and both are deceased. Both deceased. Yeah. So initially we thought it was a woman in her 20s. Is not not the case anymore? Correct. Uh, about a 10-year-old. Okay, so we think it was a 10-year-old little girl, uh, and we're just learning this now, 10-year-old little girl on the ramp. Yes. So that we initially were saying it was a woman in her 20s. That's a 10-year-old little girl who is not, uh, did not survive the accident. She may have been thrown out of that truck. Do we know how she landed right on that highway on ramp? Unfortunately, I, I don't know at this point. I, I, all I know is that she was ejected prior to the vehicle coming off of the okay. ramp. So then we have the vehicle. Mike is showing us the vehicle. This is a retrofitted, like a pickup truck, retrofitted to be a street sweeper. Yeah. It fell, so the clearance is 19 feet. So what would you say, at least 20 feet? Um, well, yeah, at least 20 yeah. feet. I mean, the, the, the bridge and overpass is probably uh, all close to 10 feet there. So Inside that vehicle, the driver, a woman in her 40s, and a 7-year-old little girl. Yes. Wow. Yes. Uh, tell us what more you know about that. Um, we don't suspect that there was any seatbelt usage for the vehicle, and it is not um, equipped for three people. It's only equipped for two people. Uh, the seven-year-old little girl, was she found inside the truck? Was she ejected as well? I don't know if uh, she was ejected, but when uh, initial uh, troopers got here, she was outside the vehicle. And the woman, where did they find her, the driver? She was pinned inside the vehicle. She had to be extricated by fire. Uh, you mentioned earlier this morning she was able to give you guys some information. Yep. Um, we have been in contact with her, and she's uh, given us some additional information. So she's conscious. She's talking this yeah. morning. Uh, she was the one who led you to that first victim that you found, the 10-year-old little girl. Yes, she was the one that informed us that she had another occupant. What can you tell us about what she's saying, uh, what, uh, what she's explaining this morning? Unfortunately, I can't go into details about what she's uh, said, but I can tell you that she has been talking to us and we've been getting information from her. Do we believe at this point then, since you're getting more information, impairment may have played a role? I know that's something we're looking into. We're still, we're still investigating that. We have not ruled it out at this point. Do we know where the street, street sweeper is going at 3 o'clock in the morning? Were they heading to work? Is this a family, a mother and two daughters? Did they own the business? I know it's a lot coming at you, but so many questions when you see an accident like this. Right. No. She was an employee of a business, and um, she was working uh, last night, and she was on her way to another job, is my understanding. So maybe possible that those were her children, uh, maybe other employees we we don't really know who the two little girls were our understanding it's her it's her children okay uh the local family do we know do we... um not certain at this point yet okay. uh how much longer do we think that we're going to be closed out here uh hopefully we can be open within an hour hour and a half okay thank you for your information we appreciate it um mike traffic yes traffic um traffic is open back on the uh, on ramp there they are working on opening up southbound 101 okay. to eastbound 10. Great. Um, it should be... I think we're seeing a little bit of traffic there yeah, slowly. Yeah, it's going to take a couple minutes okay. for ADOT to pick up the cones. So that's it... almost open. Yep. Thank you, Sergeant. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. We're learning all this, uh, you know, as we're talking to you. So pretty shocking to learn that that was a 10-year-old little girl up on that ramp and a 7-year-old little girl. So it sounds like possibly sisters, their mother, uh, heading to another job, employee of this company um, and uh, when this accident happened. So very tragic. If we get more information, we'll let you know. And you heard Sergeant Melke there saying that this portion of the I-10 at the 101 should reopen within an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, Anita, just gut-wrenching uh, information uh, to discover this morning.
It's shocking. Uh, I did not know this information as Sergeant Melky was approaching me. We took him live uh, just to get some updates, and uh, it, it, it's a difficult uh, thing to think about, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Anita, for all your great work. Thank you. We'll check in with you shortly.